Hello and welcome to the ninth episode of Mr. HTML Teacher. In today's episode I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple navigation bar using Adobe, Adobe Photoshop CS4. So first of all let's get Photoshop started up. As I've said in other tutorials you can use whatever version of Photoshop you like and it should work. Should you wait for it to load up here? shouldn't take too long to load up. So now Photoshop's loaded up, we can go to File, New. A good size for a navigation bar creation would be 1000 by 500. Now we get our rounded rectangle. You can set this to whatever you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set it to 7, just to make it a little bit more rounded. As you can see, it's a solid colour as black. So, as I've said in previous tutorial, we click next to the shape, next to where it says shape one, go tick gradient overlay and click on it. Just by being on drop shadow, take untick it, and gradient overlay. It's not going to give you the option to edit it. So, click on there and list below. So, by doing that gives you these options. Now set with default Photoshop you got these but obviously you can download other gradient overlays. So uh, we're going to have this greyish blue colour and click OK. We're going to go by actual pixels and we're going to insert our text. Now by now some of you might be thinking well, why is he doing this? This isn't navigation bar, this doesn't look good this is like a good navigation bar which if you're thinking that now you're totally correct why put in that and that that doesn't look the best now some of you may think oh yeah I'm, I'm fine with that navigation bar I'm absolutely fine with that but some of you may think no I'm not I don't, I don't like that so I'm going to delete that layer and I'm going to go on here I'm going to hold my mouse down until I get to the line tool. I'm going to make a simple line but make sure it's perfectly on top and make sure it's straight. Now if I click back on here it's obviously gone because it's exactly the same colour so we'll click here and we'll get to the gradient overlay again and we're going to set it to mm, let's say this colour and we'll click OK. Now we can go to actual pixels. Sorry, we'll, we'll zoom in a little bit more to make ourselves more accurate. Now obviously if you want it perfect you're going to need to um, zoom right into about this just to make it perfect online. Obviously you can see that it, it's not the best. So um, if you want the perfect do that and now we're going to add in our text so through this we're going to put home and then tick it to say we're ok with it and place it to where we're roughly going to want the rest of the text to be continue with space and then about us and we'll go down and we'll click tick. Now on that shape you created here you're not going to want to do hundreds and hundreds or say ten of the same line so we'll click duplicate layer then as you can see it comes up here again we'll move it across and that's where we're going to put it and there you have it it's sliced up. Now if we go to actual pixels that looks quite good you can't really tell uh, there's, there, um, there's some there's a little part down there some of you may be able to um, and from that then you go to file save as save it to your desktop wherever you want it to be I'm going to put an untitled one and there you have it it's down there but if you want to save it as a JPEG image and then insert it onto another document simply go as copy instead of having the format as a PSD scroll down until you find the JPEG and then it will come up as untitled1.jpg and we'll save it. Um, you may want it 
to be a large file and want it to be perfect it will go up to 12 for your um, quality obviously you can see it's not too big so it's 62.6 K now here you have it it's here so we can open this up with Firefox that's what I'm going to use and we're wait for it to load up now this image should come up here now as you can see the quality is reasonably good and we can copy the image and we can paste it onto any document we want and paste it on that's a simple bar so uh, thanks for watching today's tutorial and I will be showing you how to make these buttons be um, hyperlinks in the next tutorial which I'm going to do in about 5-10 minutes so uh, watch the next one and um, you should have a fully complete navigation bar so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time